Hi, everybody. Welcome. Uh, we have quite the show this evening with DRD uh, joining us. It's, it's a fun format um, to be able to share. In one screen, you'll see a handsome devil, Matt Furland, a uh, legacy employee of DRD and also been in the uh, gun industry for over 40 years, if you can believe that. Uh, on the other side, you're going to see another handsome devil in a tan hat in your screen. Um, and that is Jeremy Young, also on behalf of uh, DRD here this, this evening. So over my shoulders, Todd Klein, he's going to share some of the deals. And I think ultimately within the day when you get a, a Rice Creek feel, it's having a, a hot new brand every year. It seems to be one or another. And this year, I'd say DRD is that hot new brand. And so uh, more than anything else, uh, a lot of the session is going to be about learning about the guns, but all the fantastic reviews and information we're hearing about it. Um, this is one that would have been when you walked in the big gun showroom at, at the gun fair, it would have been right there in the middle because it's fun, cool stuff, and it's been fun to shoot the range. But as close we're going to get this go around is being able to share some of the cool technical pieces and the mere fact that uh, we're blessed to have the guns on hand and in stock. I think that says enough about the excitement that we have around it. So uh, without further ado, we're going to go through a couple quick housekeeping uh, matters. We're going to kind of keep the session around 30 minutes. Uh, there's kind of a buffer in there. Uh, we will be having everybody on the call on mute. And so you kind of hear a dialogue between Jeremy and uh, Todd and, and, of course, Matt. And so uh, during the call or during the session here, if you have questions, just, just chat them in. Um, it's, it's really easy to do, and we'll kind of try and grab the guys as they're going through the conversations. Otherwise, if not, we'll follow up tomorrow. Or if you just want to chat in, hey, give me a call. Obviously, through registration process, we have numbers. We can give you a call right after this as well. To seal up any deals. Or most importantly, because there's not a ton of these out there, we'll be able to lock one up for you. So, uh, of course, just call the Reeds 800 number, 800-346-0019, uh, or shoot an email to us at hunting at reedsports.com after it. All the deals will be gun fair deals. Nothing you're going to see online. It'll be special deals. Just thank you for jumping on the Zoom call. So let's get started. Um, I, I would say, Matt, uh, Jeremy, Jump in here. Tell us what's going on. A little background on how DRD came to be, um, and, and of course, what you're seeing out there. Is there a, a availability? It seems like they're really hard to find right now. So, uh, jump on in, guys, and kind of give a little background, and then Todd will jump and talk about what we would have seen in the booth. Sure. Uh, DRD started about 10 years ago, and uh, they were challenged with building a 762 that could fit into a briefcase, basically with the white paper on it. And uh, the founder of the company. Took about two years to develop it and he succeeded and it kind of started growing from there and uh we've come up with five different rifles now uh it's really taken off uh shot show this year 2020 was the first time we've shown it there and we've got a ton of orders and backlog going on right now so that reads actually has them in that's that's awesome because uh they're they're tough to get we're building them as fast as we can but uh they're kind of a handcrafted gun, so it's it's not just pumping them out and we're not importing them or something like that. They're made right here in the U.S. and uh, collaboration between New York and Georgia is where they're all manufactured and, and designed. So that's kind of the, the history of it in a nutshell. Hey, Jeremy, on your side of it, more on the factory side, what do you see for flow out there? I mean, obviously, American craftsmanship and uh, availability is tight. Uh, is, there, is there more on the way from what you're seeing your tea leaves or... Uh, what is what is with everything going on here in the COVID-19 world that we're living in? What do you see coming the rest of the year? Well, yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of uncertainty, that's for sure, uh, with what you bring up with COVID-19. Um, what I can um, kind of mirror to what Matt said is uh, with with availability and and um, you know shipping for one is uh, from from the shot show we had unbelievable response on these guns and the owner of the company was there and he he realized. He needed to step up production for sure if he was going to, um, you know, meet demand and everything. And he, and he has. Um, the fact that Reed's got their order was a, is just a showing to that. But they are tougher to find, you know, obviously with what's going on. Um, Otis and DRD uh, work out of the same factory in, in New York. And, and their factory was, you know, it was put down for a lot of uh, employees. They had a limited staff for a long time. Um, they're getting back to shipping 100% and in, in normal ways, but it still hasn't happened. Um, but just to mirror what Matt said, the, the availability will be out there. Um, these guns are, are hot. They really are. The, the uniqueness of them, SHOT Show was one of the best shows uh, just strictly because of this gun. We had it at the Otis gun cleaning booth and 
the majority of the people were standing around this gun and then wanting to see gun cleaning. So it was pretty cool. <laughs> That's not a bad thing sometimes, right? Right. So, you know, you mentioned us us having some guns on hand and, you know, we fully expect to have Ray's Creek. We're fortunate we had orders in well in advance. And so I think more importantly, Todd, you want to talk about what we do have on hand and kind of what the featured guns would have been there at the gun fair? So we're, we're lucky enough that uh, they did get us some guns. We've got the 762 version, which is sitting right here. We did a, uh, a kind of a special deal with them, the 762, the 308 model. Whoop, my bad. Also comes with the 65 Creedmoor barrel. So as Matlock was going to show us here, you can switch calibers on this gun in under 60 seconds. You do a barrel swap and less than a minute, and you can be shooting a new caliber. So the, the briefcase model, like he was talking, this is the, uh, the 556 model, also comes with the 300 blackout barrel. Holds up in a handy dandy kit, you get both barrels, one minute, you're switching between calibers and fire away. So Matt, I think we're back to you and especially, I know everybody's gonna wanna see how this thing breaks down, it's super cool. So I'm sure he's gonna run us through that, but it's super, super unique. Yeah, I can definitely do that. So like you were saying, this is the 7.62 and we can get it in a 6.5 Creedmoor. So if you like super flat shooting guns, long range, 6.5 is where it's at right now. Uh, to take this gun apart, it's it's really super ingenious system. You've got a, a cam lever here. You're gonna pop that open, pull a pin, and kind of doing this out in front of me. So now you've got your handrail off, taking the gun, your barrel nut, you're gonna turn that. Got quite a bit of thread on it. It needs to hold that, that barrel in place securely. And that's it. Take your next barrel, your, your 6.5 Creedmoor or 7.62, whichever way you're going, put that back in there. The one other thing with this gun, you've got a foldable stock and it can run that way. So I've actually shot this gun one-handed, fooling around at the range and seeing what you can actually handle. The recoil, this is an internal guide rod system in this. So <clears throat> there's no buffer tube needed. In a standard AR, you need a buffer tube. This one you don't, so you can run it folded. Uh, it's especially important if you're doing a CQB or clearing buildings or working something like that, where you need to fold up, get tight, get close, go corners, and then you step out into a long hallway, you easily just turn around, flip your stock back out, and you can shoot long range also. That's a pretty awesome feature with this gun. Uh, and then going into your, your case, as you see there, uh, you've got three pieces you set in, close it, and go. So it's a super easy platform to put together, assembly, disassembly, and, uh, and change your, your caliber. The deal you're getting with the two barrels is, that's awesome. I mean, we're not really doing that with anybody else, so that's, that's a good thing. Uh, to do that. Matt, what finishes, uh, what, what finishes are you seeing that come in? Uh, I'm sure that'll be a question. Sure. Uh, we have the battle worn finish, which you see here, and it's kind of a distressed gray. That's always the go-to. Everybody wants to put their hands on that one. It seems the most popular. And then just a black nitride standard AR type finish, a little harder. Um, Kind of, uh, what, do, what do we have on hand here at the shop? As of right left, as of this morning, we've got two of the 762 models left, and we just got in seven of the 556 models yesterday. So thank you guys for that. Otherwise, we had zero. So they are here and on hand and ready to be sent out the door. Yeah, the uh, the 308 the 762 model comes in the in the handy dandy backpack. So this everything breaks down. Both barrels all fit into here. Everly stock backpack, super high quality. Yeah, Matt, our, our compliments, when you send a backpack with an AR, just have it be an Everly stock, says something about it. So thanks for the quality piece. Is, is that something that you, you guys shop for the design on it or something that they kind of work together to collaborate the fit and, and how it goes into it? Yeah, so the, the founder of the company kind of worked with them and, and uh, kind of worked that out. Our Kavari model, the bigger one, um, we needed a, an extra full-size pack for that. And, so these other ones, uh, they fit pretty modular. The little cherry bomb uh, for the, the Aptus size and, and the one you show there. So uh, they're a great name, great, fantastic pack. I mean, they started in the gun industry years ago with their stock. So great company to work with. Again, American made. So 
Matt, why don't, let's run through the ambi, uh, the ambidextrous features on this too. You get a lot closer to the camera. I can't really show them. Run yeah. through all the ambi features on this thing too, if you would please. Yeah, so it's got a uh, bad lever on it for your uh, your bolt release or your bolt catch. And uh, and then you've got ambi on both sides for your safety on and off. So pretty simple to use either either way. Uh, a lot of people like that, that lever design so you can just hit it with your trigger finger and eject the mag, do a quick change. Perfect, thank you. Is that the same finish that Matt has? Yeah, this, everything that we've got in stock is battle worn finishes. So that's been, that's the most desired. So that's what we got everything in. Perfect. Yes, it is. It's sharp. It is, super nice. Yep. Matt, do you have a 5.56 five, there in that combo kit like Todd has? Uh, I don't, uh, I just have the Paratus on me right now. Uh, so your 5.56 five, is basically an AR-15 size platform. And then your Paratus is your AR-10 size platform. Yeah. yeah, it's super cool how it all breaks down, fits right into that box. Both barrels are in there, everything is in there, everything you need. Is that a Pelican case that you guys have? It looks like it's the sealed waterproof. Yep, I'll airtight, watertight. It's pretty durable. You know, so it, it's really up to the customer if they want the soft case or the hard case, what are they gonna be doing with it? If they're going packing or something out in the mountains, maybe they want the pack with it. Um, too. <laughs> storage thrown in the back of your truck, let it slam around, you want the hard case. As far as uh, mounting systems, is there, uh, you know, bipods or anything like that? Do you guys prefer uh, one over the other for attachments or is it pretty standardized? Uh, it's standard. I have been using a lot of the Atlas ones and, uh, on our guns and, and they seem to work pretty well. And that's just because we have a, a decent relationship with them. Um, same thing with optics. There's a couple different companies that we work with. Uh, you know, it's a Picatinny rail on top, so you can mount pretty much anything you want. Right on, right on. Brian, they got added features inside the box. So you got two two P mags, and you've got the uh, side rail mounts that are all in there. You got safety glasses and your toolkit are all right in the handy dandy little box. So yeah. So you mentioned the 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 wrench in there, and uh, what we recommend is if you're going to be shooting sustained fire at the range on the Paratus or the Aptus, you use the wrench. If you're gonna fire, you know, more than 10 or 15 rounds. If you're, if you're strictly putting it together, uh, I've actually had friends that would do this on a tractor. If they're out and they see a prairie dog or something, they have issues with those. So they uh, slam it together real quick, hand tight, shoot, no problem. So sustained fire, you wanna use the wrench. If you're only gonna fire a couple of times. You can just go hand tight if you need to and, uh, and go with that. But if you can use the wrench and you do have time, it's always always better to do that. Right, you bet. Assuming everything is all suppressor ready, punch yeah. out and all that stuff, okay. So there is a, a adjustable gas block on there. And you can see that there. So any gun that you do put a suppressor on, a lot of times you're gonna have to adjust that gas a little bit. It depends on the load, the round, whose ammo we're shooting, is it hot? Not so much, you know, subsonic stuff's obviously a different pressure altogether. So there is some tuning and you do have that availability with that adjustable gas block, which is a really nice feature. So you run a couple of rounds, you figure out where you're at, you make your adjustments and, and go from there. Uh, Matt, uh, one chat just came through on this. Uh, haven't seen anything ever fall, the, the chat is states have, have never seen anything fall down into a box that small. Who came up with this idea? Uh, it's the founder of DRD, Skip. He, uh, he, he figured it out. It's, it really, I mean, we've been playing with ARs and, and <laughs> for a long, long time. And it seems so simple what he did, but it's just genius. And uh, he really made a huge step in, in the platform of ARs and modularity and stuff. It's just, uh, it, it's amazing. So with, with the relationship of Otis, uh, cleaning, uh, is there a different method given the system and the, the design here? I mean, you want to talk through uh, what it takes to keep that thing well-maintained and what products you recommend being you got that cute little Otis sign in the background? Absolutely. I'm glad you noticed that. It's, uh, <laughs> so, so Otis, we purchased DRD in, in October of 2019. Um, and, you know, we're known as the breach to muzzle people. Smart gun care, we teach everybody your, your cleaning from, from your chamber, out your muzzle. Um, so you can use our cable system to do that. What's the beauty of this gun is, and anybody that's been in service or, or used 
a gun platform like this for their work. Star chambers in that area, it's not really that fun to clean. It's a pain to get in there and you got tools. And we have our star chamber tool and things like that. But the nice thing with this is you just whip that barrel right off and that star chamber is right there. You can do it with anything. And if guys like to use rods, well, pull the barrel off and use a solid rod and go through there and it's super easy to get at. So uh, it, it's really great to use our shooter's choice line, which is mostly our solid rods or sectional rods that we do. And then the Otis with the cable system. So you have the best of both worlds. Um, as far as cleaning it that way goes, you're gonna use the same solvents you use, you know, your, your bore cleaners and whatnot and shooter's choice line or Otis. Uh, it's not gonna hurt anything in these guns, even with this battle worn finish. It's, it's super strong, so you got no worries on that. Actually, you just nailed one of the questions on there, uh, treatment on the battle-worn finish to make it maintain and not uh, deprecate it at all. Yeah, our FB10 in the Shooter's Choice line, uh, 085 and Otis, uh, either one of them, it's, it's a really hard finish to it, so it's not going to uh, get affected at all by that. Okay. Yeah, I think one other question was, what are you guys running for triggers in this? So on the Aptis that you have there, those are a mil spec trigger. And then for the Paratuses, they're a two stage trigger, um, Wilson Combat. Perfect, there you go. All right, top notch. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome seeing the quality in the craftsmanship in here, just hearing the trigger types and everything else. Well done on this. Hey, Jeremy, what are you, uh, what are you seeing as far as things that we should be adding to the discussion here? I mean, you've got the core, the core two styles here and features. Uh, what are you seeing from your perspective? Yeah, um, the, the the core two are, are the ones uh, their bread and butter, and what the, showed the biggest you know highlight at Shot Show were those two guns for sure. And and Todd nailed it with the color. That battle that battle warns definitely by far the best uh, seller. Um, if if anyone does call in or, or orders from this show, Adam and Todd, um, if you you know you'll obviously get their address, but uh, send that to me, and I'll I'll throw in a free forty nine dollar tactical Otis kit for free with any purchase. Cool man, right. thank you. Yep. Very cool. So I think that is one I mean, thing. Do I get that too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's one thing to bring up Todd walk through because we kind of we brushed by it at, at the beginning here. So with this set, it's the free barrel on both yep. both Each guns. One, yep. 760 Correct. 65 free more barrel. And the 556 five, comes with a 300 blackout barrel. So I believe those barrels are what in the six to seven hundred dollar range alone. Is that right, Matt? Yeah, somewhere in that range, five, Correct. six. So you're basically yeah. getting a barrel that that six hundred dollar barrel for nothing thrown in with each rifle. Yeah, so that's we're, we're running them at ten percent off, you know, for the Rice Creek show. That's where we would have been on pricing. So give us a call and you know before they're gone because these won't last long. Like you said, they're, they're super limited supply and hard to get. You know, yeah. so. Well, I think just to add in too, because this, uh, for everybody's knowledge there too, I mean, th this will be available. I mean, Matt and Todd are going through some good details in here. This will be available on YouTube later and, so and such. But the, the offer that we're talking about with that free barrel, that's not an everyday deal. Um, that was just going to be for this gun fair promotion, right. uh, which ends Sunday. So we're running, we're running the, the basically the gun fair deals through Sunday, kind of when the gun fair would have been ending this weekend. Um, and after that, then everything will kind of go back to normal as it normally is. And I'm sure as the production starts to balance out, there might be other things that come down the road. But in the meantime, I think you guys are just trying to catch up. Would you say, Matt? Yeah, yep, for sure. Uh, once they start lifting some of the restrictions on us in New York and we can get a full crew in here, uh, we should we should go with that. And all of our assembly and, and test firing and everything happens down in Dallas, Georgia also. Right on. I definitely want to show you guys that internal guide rod system and see the bolt carrier assembly real quick. It'd be great. So this one, it's super easy. You got your guy rod and your spring come out and your bolt. So guys that are used to a standard AR-10 or AR-15, you basically have that. This has just got an extra part on the top with your key. Uh, and that's where your guide rod would go into to drive that. So no buffer tube or anything. And that's why you can run them when they're folded up, which is a pretty neat system in there. But the rest of it is, is standard AR on the bottom of this bolt carrier assembly. Very cool. Hey, uh, another one just came through. Um, a question about the trigger poles. What are the trigger poles? And if there, are there differences in them depending on the rifle? Yeah, so most of them are four and a half pounds on that. Um, you know, the Wilson triggers on the Paratus, you can you can fuss with a little bit. Um, on the Aptis, even our CDRs, those are, those are pretty set. Uh, but they're mostly all around 4.5. 
Excellent. Excellent. Hey, uh, real quick, uh, I think there's one or two more chats in here, but I'm going to open this up so everybody's uh, unmuted. So if anybody has any questions, they'd just like to share. Um, as we're all getting used to this, the, the Zoom format, uh, when, once we unmute everybody, there might be background noise, so don't hesitate to mute yourself again if you need to, but uh, we just open it up. So if anybody's got any questions for uh, Matt, Jeremy, and Todd here, uh, just go, go right ahead and fire away. Ooh. Matt, you answered everybody's questions. That happens every <laughs> once in a while. I, I have one other item to show everybody, and uh, – you can order these through Reeds, and uh, we've got a couple in the Battle Worn finish left. Uh, they're going pretty quick, and it might be a while before we can actually get these out of these too. So, if any of the guys like the big boys, this is a 338 Lapua. Huh. So, it's in the black finish right now. Uh, we had several of them left in the Battle Worn also. Uh, this gun is just a blast to shoot, literally. Uh, recoil, I'll tell most people it's around a 270 in a bolt gun recoil, so it's not horrible. Uh, the percussion definitely is there. It'll take your hat off if you're on a 45 to it, but uh, the, the recoil is not bad. You can run it like a standard AR walking with it even and shoot it. It's not terrible. So this is something else you guys can look. If somebody wanted to order one, go through Reeds and, and we can get you hooked up. Uh, Matt, I apologize. I fell on the floor when I saw that. So what colors was, is that both, you said black and battle worn? Yep, we could do black, battle worn, and there is a, a flat dark earth also that we can do. Those take a little bit longer. Uh, Fantastic. We have the battle worns in stock right now. Fantastic. Awesome. Well, thanks for the surprise. That's kind of a treat. <laughs> <laughs> you don't usually see the 338s in this platform, so it's not uh, at all. So yeah, and so what we can do is we'll figure out uh, if anybody does have interest in it, shoot us a, a chat. We can follow up right after this because that won't stick around long. And also what we'll do is we'll make sure we take care of some of the Rice Creek deal pricing on that as well because I was surprised. So yeah, for sure. thank you. For thank sure. You. We, we can work with you. Excellent. Excellent. Um, anything else you want to cover, Todd? I think we're good. Think we're Jeremy, Matt, are you good? Yeah, yeah. Thank you uh, for all who joined us, and uh, thank you for the support with DRD. Thank you very much. Yeah, Excellent. we appreciate it. Definitely very much. I hope everybody stays safe through this pandemic that we're going through, and uh, we look forward to getting back out onto the range with everybody and into the woods and, and whatnot and, uh, and spending some time outdoor with our families. So please, everybody, stay safe. We appreciate it, and uh, thank you for looking at DRD and tuning in with Reed's. Yeah, right on. And I'll, and I'll follow up with one other one there, too. So um, with the deals that we have going on and the availability, do call us. Or if you want to send a chat across, we can call you right after this to make sure that we lock anything up. Um, obviously, we all wish we had the gun fair going around and we don't have the date set up for next year. But we'll make, we'll make some time for DRD on the range next year and everybody can catch up on it as, as well then. Um, just a reminder, give us a call because any deals will be only on. They're not going to be online. So just through the phone. Or shoot us an email to hunting at readsports.com. We'll with you right away. We appreciate everybody jumping in on this. I uh, apologize, it's informal, it's real time, but this is a great way for at least everybody to see some of the new stuff we would have had at the gun fair. So appreciate everybody taking the time. Be safe, take care, and thank you. We'll see you on the next Zoom session. If you like what you saw today, there'll be more of it on our YouTube channel, so check it out. We'll be posting this one and others, and then there are going to be announcements uh, here shortly with two more weeks. This is week one of three weeks of Zoom sessions just like this. I hope, hopefully we can get Jeremy and his crew back for another one later in the week. We'll watch your e-news and our Facebook page for more of them coming up uh, in some of these evening sessions. So appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stay safe.